Then training we have in Brazil, not only in Brazil, because this is not national, but the Train Seat Coast. Train Seat Coast is an international program that do the training of different subjects. But all, also sea and the ballast water is included in this. They, they call Train X. Then you can put anything here. And then the, this one that we, we were involved it was or is Train Sea Coast. It's a training to know about what we should teach, not only to learn, but to teach in the area, because this training is given not for students, it's for the people that could have the control of the system, the government, the port authorities, the environment people, the Navy, all must have this training to have the awareness. And this program was trying to give this. And the regional cooperation that for me is so important in this first phase of the globalist program, we, we couldn't go much further. We had a very small, very, very um, simple development of this activity. Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, in, in South America, are well developed in, in the control of this problem. But Colombia now is trying to, to Peru is doing well, but the others are not so um, active to control the invasive species. And I would say that South America is not so um, different from the, the other continents. Africa, only South Africa is doing something. Ghana is well prepared. And now Lu um, Angola, the others are not doing many things to control this. Europe, they are a block. They are trying to do something, but they are not doing enough. United States, Canada, Australia, they are very well developed. Mainly Australia and New Zealand, they are very worried because they are isolated and they are exposed to different things and they have very bad examples of invaders there. And then we had a kind of second phase of the globalist program. And the, the emphasis in this phase was the regional cooperation. Because this was the weak part in the first phase, I, I, my impression. And now they organized in some way to involve more countries in the world. Here is very well organized. Here, they, they can survive <laughs> better than us. But uh, uh, the, the program has the, the idea to support more the, the, the countries that are uh, developing. Then, South America, Caribbean, Africa, and some part of Europe, in the Mediterranean mainly. Then this second phase, I think, developed more, what they invested more in this area, Caribbean, South America, Africa, and around the Mediterranean. We have, all this program is to, to, to teach how to apply the International Convention. Only to call, give some names. Brazil, here, was the pilot country. They are not involved strongly in the second phase, but Brazil must uh, give now the, the, what they learn here. They, they should teach to exchange 
But the leader countries in South America is more for the Pacific, but Argentina is also there. They are leader. Chile, Colombia, and Venezuela. They are leader countries in South America. Jamaica, I don't know the others, Trinidad, Tobago, don't say they are involved also in the Caribbean as leader countries. Jamaica is one I've been there and then they are very involved to try to coordinate the activities in the Caribbean. Uh, South Africa was the, the first country in, in Africa in the first phase and I think Ghana and Angola they are more and there is the, the participation of other countries. I don't know, I don't have many information about the countries in the Mediterranean, but Israel is very worried about the, the impact that they are getting with the invasive species. In this case, mainly the species that came from the Red Sea to Mediterranean. And then we have, we have, was adopted in 2004, an international convention on ballast water. Not only water, but sediment also. The word sediment is in the name of the international convention. This is, here is just a short way to call the international convention ballast water. Was adopted in 2004 but it's not yet in force. We, we are waiting since 2004 for uh, 30 countries to ratify. We already have 30 countries. But also we need to have 35% of all the fleet, all the ships of the world in gross ton, considering the the size of the capacity of each a ship can carry it's not in numbers but the, the capacity to carry uh, goodies and in this aspect we, we already have 30 countries enough but the, the fleet the percentage of the fleet is only 16 we need 35 percent how, for how long we have to wait to have an international law in force to start to control the invasive species through ballast water. Brazil, with the problems that already have, did something. No, I will prepare the, the maritime authority, the Navy, I will prepare a kind of um, law, norm, norm, I don't know, we call it norma, no? uh, norm 20. The, 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 the Brazilian Navy has a lot of no, normas, como nós, como, uh, like we call, normas, norms, 20 is one of many, many laws, Brazilian law, Navy law, naval law that we have to control different things but to control ballast water is the Norman 20 as we call and is mandatory is in force since 2005 I think is uh, if it's intelligent or not I don't know but it is a necessary uh, measure to, to to replace this or to wait for that of course you can do this based on that and what uh, was what we, we did based on the international convention that is not in force we prepared the Norman 20 in Brazil we don't do everything that is here 
but at least we can obligate some ships to do something that are written here to try to minimize the problem the, to solve the problem is another question it's difficult to, to solve completely the invasion of species mainly because ballast water is, the, is not the only one way to, to allow invasions 